Good morning, guys. Welcome back to... No, I almost... Guys, I keep wanting to say welcome back to Vlogmas to Vlog Week Day 4 already. That's actually really crazy. Um, Yeah, I kind of wish I would have done this on another week when I had like a lot more going on. This week has been a lot more chill, so there will be more to come. Um, Anyways, happy Thursday. Oh my gosh, a new podcast episode went up. My podcast is the I Love Smash podcast um, with Margot Oshry of The Snatchler and slash kind of the morning toast and all that. Um, she's the best and I'm so excited for this episode. So that is up. Um, it's always linked down below. Go check it out. Anyways, today's Thursday morning. I'm about to take Coco to the vet. Um, yeah, she's looking rough, but it's not for anything. She just needs like her regular checkup. Um, I spent all morning looking at golden doodles on my phone. Um, I'm seriously still considering it, but who knows what will end up happening. So anyways, it's like a drop off appointment. So I call them when I get there and they come and pick her up and then I guess I wait and then they drop her off. Maybe I'll just grab like something to eat or coffee because like what else am I supposed to do, you know? It's really close to me though. Um, honestly, if it wasn't a drop off appointment, I would probably just like walk or something. But anyways, I just threw this on just for the morning. I have aloe um, biker shorts this black cropped Aritzia tee and then just like my adidas slides update on my hair if you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog i got it redone by my sister and it looks and feels so much better she said she's gonna get a bunch of products for me as well that um will be good so hopefully that really saves my hair because my hair has been very dry so i'll tell you guys because she's actually a hairstylist and like you know she like kind of knows what she's talking about so we're gonna head off Are you excited? Are you excited? Oh my gosh, her harness, guys, always like, you're so cute. Guys, she has looked better. The poor little girl got really excited um, and started playing way too much with Bentley this weekend. But, and they were outside and it just got so tangled and messy. And here we are. It's great. That's it. 1764, Thank you. I love Starbucks. I don't know why. I think that just because I'm not really doing anything entertaining and I'm vlogging, I feel like I need to go to Starbucks. So there's like something. Um, so this is my first time this week going back to Starbucks and that just shows how like you go once and then you don't stop going. It's not good, not good at all. So I dropped Coco off at the vet um, and then I was supposed to pick her up in about an hour. It's so weird dropping her. I'm like, is she taking care of herself, you know? So. I need to also, I'm trying to look for a new groomer, um, so I need to call her groomer, they open in four, or a different groomer, they open in five minutes, and see when I can get her in, so that she will get groomed, because it's really just like it needs to happen, she looks like a mop, the poor girl, I'm buying it, this is really my last Starbucks drink, also I just never want to give my dad his car back, because like yes, I was only driving this because I needed to go to Ikea, but that was days ago, and I've just been, you know, just waiting for him to say that I have to bring it back, but it's really fun because I'm, like, small, and this car is really big, and it's just, like, makes me feel more powerful. So, anyways, I got an ice dirty chai, which makes me feel like I'm a junior in high school. I normally don't drink anything with, like, sugar, but... So there's a lot of espresso in it, and this is what I need for today. So today I'm recording with Connor, and then tonight Brenna has like a show gig thing, but it's outside and it's all like benches and stuff, so it's like social distancing. So I think I'm gonna go there with a friend. And that'll be fun, probably hopefully get her flowers. It'll be a really cute thing. So that is the plan. Um, yeah, part of me is like, I really should have done a vlog week one when there's like more going on, you know what I mean? I'm home. I got ready for the day. Just did my like really easy everyday makeup. I feel like I always have mascara under my eyes now. Um, that was in another vlog, either last one or the vlog before that. The vlog before that. Um, I'm just wearing all white. I don't know what this like crease is right here. It looks like it's a black mark, but it's not. Um, these pants are Revolve Super Down 
these shoes are docks white docks um and then i just have this white crop top that i have no idea where it's from honestly then my normal bag um gonna go to my office crazy crazy commute um but i need to kind of just make a list and make sure i'm good i'm recording with connor in an hour so i'm gonna head to his office soon and yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I use to record remotely. So I have an Amazon shop page and I have an entire category for podcast equipment. So if you guys are interested, my Amazon shop page is down below um, and it's really easy to find. But I have a Zoom microphone. So right now it's only set up for one because I kind of just leave this as is because I'm always doing random ads and intros, outros, all that stuff. I have to have headphones. So this Zoom mic. Um, it's really really easy to use even I can use it. So like that's how you know it's easy I have these headphones that are super tangled. I mean, they're not super tangled, but um They feel ancient don't they but I have to that's so I can hear what's recording and then I only have one mic connected right now But I have another one in this bag and then another cord that will connect it to mic two right here And then I just hit record. It's super easy. There's a memory card right in here, the memory card has actually been acting weird, so we're gonna end up using probably my vlog camera memory card again. But yeah, it's really easy, simple to use. I get asked a lot what I actually use, and this is my setup. So right now, I am importing footage to make my TikTok transformation for my office. Um, it's so much easier for me to edit on Final Cut Pro. Everyone was bullying me for it until I found out it's kind of a normal thing to do. Also guys, cool, right? Wow. editing the tiktok in like 20 minutes and here we go i'm gonna post my tiktok it's kenzie elizabeth hey go check it out if you guys are coming from this vlog comment on the tiktok okay guys i'm ready to go just for my purse and then i have this tote bag um with all of my equipment this is on i just had to change the batteries so let's turn off okay cool um this bag is like not too big of a tote it's literally the perfect size it's just amazing and i love it make some salmon for lunch i don't really have like let me see what i need to do i have my to-do list for today lately at night when i edit i just end up staying up and then i like get so much work done and i'm so much more focused at night than during the day i know that we've talked about this on this channel and we all just go through phases of like when you're most productive but i feel like i'm just most productive right now past 8 p.m so during the day is like chill home um the recording was really fun he's awesome that episode will be up soon and then we're probably gonna like film some videos together too maybe this season will be the season that i actually watched the bachelor so i curled my hair because it was just like too clean almost like you know when your hair is too clean and there's no like volume to it and it was just boring I didn't even like it in a bun so i curled it just to give it a little bit more like volume and whatever i changed i'm now wearing this dress from revolve super cute and then air force ones and socks i don't know what happened here but i need to clean that off before i leave um so this is my outfit i just made some lunch so i have salmon and broccoli um i have not made salmon and broccoli which i used to eat every single day since Literally, I think probably like the first month that I lived here. I haven't even touched my air fryer. It's really crazy So I'm gonna go eat that for lunch get a little bit of work done Um, and then eventually i'm gonna leave tonight. I'm going to my friend's show which is in salina I'm so hungry. I'm having pressed juice. I made two pieces of salmon and then broccoli I this is like a really simple easy lunch, but I used to have it pretty much every single day in la because I was so busy um, but it just sounds so good and it's also so easy to make so I'm glad that I actually want to eat it again Because I ate it too much to the point where like I could never even think about it ever again. Ah, uh, yes, everyone It is right about time um, of the day when I start considering going to La La Land for some ice matcha Yeah, I think I should honestly I think vlogging makes me some more money because I feel like I need to go do things um, but also like I just want a strawberry field literally it is like my favorite thing ever so anyways i'm gonna get some computer work done all right guys so i'm gonna go get a um strawberry field i 
am doing the thing where I can't yawn. So I'm doing the thing where I can't yawn, which is definitely like linked to anxiety. I don't feel anxious. I have really nothing to be anxious about. Um, not that that's like how anxiety necessarily works, unfortunately. But I can't like fully yawn and it's so weird. And I know that caffeine is like not helping and I'm literally going to get matcha. Honestly, matcha kind of chills me out, I think. So yeah, like I cannot fully breathe. It's so awful. Oh my God, I'm about to, I literally almost fell down my throat. It's finally time, I'm about to leave. I think I'm gonna pick up Chick-fil-A or something. That sounds really good. I have a lot of blush on today. Here we go. Pretty much ready. Oh my gosh. This has been like a really, like, this has been one of those summer days where you're just like consistently tired because of the heat. But uh, we're ready. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a little book update. Oh, by the way, sorry, as you guys can tell, I'm home. Um, tonight was fun. And yeah, I'm back home. But I wanted to give you guys a little update on the books that I have been reading just to give you guys some great book recs. Okay, so I believe, I don't even remember the last, um, I have I talked about Verity on the channel? I don't know. I can't on the channel. Am I 40? Um, I am always posting book highlights. So if you guys like ever need book recommendations, I have a whole highlight on my Instagram. So I'm always posting it stories not you guys get what i'm saying just go to my instagram i'm so sorry okay so one day in december was super cute regretting you i loved that book the wife stalker unfortunately didn't love and that's my favorite author duo so it's okay it was i mean i just like didn't love it it ends with us is like one of my favorites it's really emotional um yeah it's incredible i mean it also i feel like i should say this it does have um some like domestic violence type stuff so if that's a trigger like definitely don't read where the card ads sing i know that that's like everyone's favorite book right now i liked it i felt like it was a little bit overhyped and i'm not obsessed white fragility i think that literally everyone in the world should read this by the way it says like one percent and stuff because i always and like i don't know why that says 79 because i finished it but that's a, honestly a pretty short read i read that in a few hours and i think it's really 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 important to read especially right now um, but it says 1% on these because I always go back to the cover to take a photo from my Instagram story. Okay, Wish You Were Here. That one was really good. Very sad. November 9th, Colleen Hoover. Okay, guys, this book was so good and it's so unrealistic. It's not a book that I would normally be, like, obsessed with by any means. I hate that the covers aren't popping up. But it's this romance. Long story short, basically, these two meet. They meet every single for five years on November 9th. You guys, you know, there's a twist. It's so good, okay? Maybe someday. Um, it, I wouldn't recommend it. Then The Perfect Couple. Oh yeah, this is a great thriller because I hadn't read a thriller in a while. So, um, love that. That's like a kind of a classic thriller. It's a wedding in Nantucket, like that sort of vibe. Um, and then the maid of honor dies. She's murdered. And then it just kind of follows that story. Really good. And then um, what I'm currently reading is Night Road. Um, Margot. Actually, the episode with Margot went up today. But Margot... Always, I feel like we read the same books and we don't even like realize it. She's always responding back to my stories like good luck because I mean they're gonna like cry or like lose my mind from the book. Anyways, um, she said good luck, which means that that's probably a good book if she didn't say it sucked. So yeah, very exciting. So that is it for today's vlog. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving this a big thumbs up. Um, and subscribe. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye.